And it's real sneaky. Sugar addiction in kids is real sneaky. It started for us with chocolate milk in the morning, right? So you give them that nice high sugar high in the morning, right? And then they can only go down from there because nothing else is going to taste as sweet to them and nothing else is going to trigger the yes in their brain ever again that day, unless you give them more sugar, which they're naturally going to crave. And after they've had experience with sugary foods, they even know what foods it is that they crave. Start with chocolate milk in the morning, and then it devolved into getting a muffin on the way to see mom, because I would stop to get my caffeine fix. They would, you know, so muffin for them. And then it got into cookies, because we are out a lot, and cookies are something that's easy and portable. But also, the other thing is, they would refuse to eat other food because nothing else after long, nothing else tastes like food to them because nothing else is satisfying to them. So they keep craving more and more and more sweet things in order to feel satiated. And as this sugar is being processed in their brain, it's ruining their brain and it's ruining their behavior and it's causing addictive tendencies and addictive personalities in a two-year-old, right? So kind of once I realized it was getting out of hand, um, just decided, okay, no more Mambas in the house because Mambas are something that, I mean, they're amazing. I gobble them down. No more Mambas in the house. Chocolate milk we still do in the morning. We're going to have to stop that because it's just, it's just dumb. Right. I mean, hey, let's give our kids sugar first thing they wake up and then expect them to not want to re-up later on in the day. It's dumb. We're not going to do that anymore. Um, and then I say that we need to finish the rest of the Ovaltine and then I'll throw it. I just won't buy it anymore. Um, but yeah, it's super, super sneaky.